How do you recommend we respond if a girl says she lives too far from a certain date location? She is trying to change the date a day earlier, not happening uh, with different plans. I want to keep the date in the original date we agreed upon. How can I tell her I'm not changing plans whatsoever? Her version of living far is 30 minutes plus train ride. Okay, guy. Okay. Oh, well, he said I answered the question before, but I'll say this. Yes, I've said before that, you know, as a guy, I said, I just said in the show now, right, that if she's trying to change the date or the, where the date's happening, that that's not the best sign in the world and that you need to be, you need to say to her, let's do, let's do my date now and do whatever. So I say that, right? And I, and I do mean that. That said, this is where we get into a little bit of advanced stuff because you have to read sometimes more into what's actually going on and what's being said, right? So when you read this and hear this from a woman, what you're hearing is, okay, this girl's trying to change plans on me. I said I want to do this date, but she's trying to do a date that's closer to her place and blah, blah, blah. Like, what's that about? I got to be the man. And Harry said to, you know, keep the date as is. It's net. You can, you can totally do that. You can go that route. When I read that, what I read is this girl wants the date closer to her place because if things go really well on the date, she may want to invite me back. And now the question becomes, if that's the situation, do you now either A, keep the date as you originally planned it, or B, do the date that she wants to do because there's now a chance of you possibly going to her place. You see, right now, you're doing the nice guy thing, which is great. You're doing anything, okay, I'm going to set up a date that's uh, you know, somewhat far out, so we, we both have to travel a little bit, whatever. And hey, I don't know how far away this girl is. She could be like an hour from you. So I get, if you don't want to drive an hour to see her, it is what it is. You say, I want to keep the date where it is. And if you don't like that, then kick rocks. But she's also potentially setting up a scenario where if the date goes really well, you could get invited back. And for me personally, I'm all for like exploring that possibility. Like I real talk, guys. I mean, I know I, I talk a lot about here about, you know, keep your, you know, keep the late plans and snap. But also I'm not an idiot. I, I can see when women are doing certain things that it's like, you know, if you guys have talked before, you guys met on the dating app, she, or she knows what you look like, whatever, she might already be thinking, man, I love to do some stuff, but you know what? I can't make it so obvious that I want them to, to, to come to my place. But I could say, hey, let's have the date closer to where I live. And then if things just happen to go well, I could be like, hey, I got to go back to my place where kids get something. Or, oh, hey, you know what? You know what? You can, if you if you agreed to a date near me, you can come pick me up. And then, oh, he's got to drop me off at my place. Do, 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 do. Dude, all that to say, the scenario is being set up to where you could potentially go to her place. This is not a situation where I would be so uh, gung-ho about the date's got to happen as blah, 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 blah. If she's setting up an alley-oop, see if the alley-oop's there. Worst case scenario, you spend a little bit more gas to go a little bit further than you anticipated, but the payoff could be amazing. So, again, do with that what you will. Again, you might be able to read into this more and think, but you don't want to do that yet, and that's totally fine also. I'm just saying what I think is possibly going on, which is she's already setting you up for good things to happen later. I wouldn't necessarily turn that down. So just wanted to put that out there. Oh. <laughs> he said, I never thought about this way. Yeah, dude. Hey, I'm just, look, I've been in the game for a long time, dude. I've, I've, I've had read any things like that. I remember there was that one time when like, back when I didn't have a car, right? I would go on dates where I would catch the bus to go to the date spot. And then I, again, I keep my date short, 45 minutes to an hour at the hour mark. I'd be like, okay, you know what? I got the next bus is coming, so I got to go. At that point, the women, the women that were highly interested, would be like, hey, you know what? I could totally drop you off at your place. And there, early on, I'd be like, no, no, that's okay. I can catch the bus; it's no big deal. And then I start to, to think, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. She, she's, she's, she's volunteering to take me back to my place. Why would she want to go back to my place? So she can see it, so she knows where I live. So I think blah blah blah. And then I start being like, oh yeah, sure, no problem. And you know what? They would drive me back to my place and then stuff would happen. So I've done this enough to know that just we're see, this is why this is what girls are so good at. Women are great at bottom layer thinking. Like a surface thing is said, and they read two to three times more into it. Guys need to get on that same journey because you are you could be missing out on women that are throwing all kinds of hints at you or saying certain innuendos that would actually indicate they want to do other things, but you're just reading surface level because oh, well, I need exact language and blah 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 blah. Dudes, get over it. I had some guy comment this week that said, um, he left a comment that said, basically, uh, uh, learning learning how to deal with girls is tough. It's like learning a second language. Yes, learning how women think, talk, act, and feel is like learning a second language. 
But just like if you're in a Spanish class and you learn Spanish the correct way, you get an A+. plus. If you learn what women are actually saying or what they mean when they do certain things and you read into it, you get bonus benefits and you win. So as a guy, because I know that a girl inviting me to a date close to her place means that she may want to do some stuff, I win because I get to go on a great date and work best, best case scenario, I get to go to a place and have a fun night. At best, we go to a place and make out for a bit and then I go home. But either way, I get further along simply because I knew how to read into that. And yet, if you like that tip, guy, and thank you for the super chat, I have so many other tips like that that I offer in my one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. You can go to get those at introvertdatingsuccess.com. And also, my eBooks are chock full of these little insights. My Stop Losing Women book, I have tons of stuff in there just like this that'll get you on the up and up so you'll know what to be doing so that way women will feel that you know them. Because if, if you make a move, like for this example, right? If I were to say, hey, that's great, let's do the place. That woman now knows that I know what she's putting down. She knows that she put down the invite to do a date near her place because stuff could possibly happen. The fact that I was able to read into that and do that, that shows a woman that I know women. And that's gonna make her feel like, oh, I'm dealing with a guy that's fully in his masculine. He knows what, the, what I'm putting down without me having to say it outright. And I've said before, guys, women don't wanna have to outright say stuff because in society, they get judged for it. Her saying to this guy, hey, come to my place and have a date near my place so we can hook up. That's going to make her look like a hussy. So she has to word things and hope that you just get it. And the more you're able to get it, the more women you're going to be able to connect with, hook up with, and get in relationships with. And that's all I'm trying to teach you guys on here. So if you need help with that kind of stuff, go to introvertdatingsuccess.com, click on the coaching tab, click on the eBooks products tab, and get learned on this stuff today. All right? You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning.